In our article on the best way to sharpen a chainsaw, I talk about the inexpensive $30 um, chainsaw sharpener. And here's my chainsaw sharpener. And it's an example of that. In our blog article on ourrecipesforsuccess.com on how to sharpen a chainsaw uh, chain, I talk about these inexpensive chainsaw sharpeners um, not always being uh, as accurate as some of the more, much more expensive ones, but you can still make them work. Um, so I was going to demonstrate what the issue is and how I uh, address it. So when you set up a chain, you put it in the, in the little uh, vise here. Uh, this is a little vise, the adjustment knobs on the back. And uh, here's your adjustment knob that shoves this forward or backward. And you adjust it so that when you bring down the moving wheel, let's see if we can get in here, it just cleans up that front surface, leading edge of the tooth, which is about there. Don't even see any daylight in there, so that's about right there. And then you go around and do that whole side of the chain, all the teeth on that side. Well, when you go to switch to the other side, there's a, a locking nut here, which I have loose for right now for this demonstration. And here's the uh, um, indicator on it. I swing it to the other side and I would set this. Um, and then I have to loosen up the little vise here. Move it to the very next tooth, which puts you on the opposite side of the chain. Get it seated down in there good. Snug it back up. And now here's the issue with these more inexpensive ones. When you bring it in, look at that gap in there. And the more expensive ones, they should be very, very similar. And that way it keeps your um, teeth sharpened evenly on both sides and makes for a good straight cut. Um, as you can see, that's not going to happen here. So what I do is I simply, um, I like marking the teeth that I'm setting up with, with a, uh, my magic marker, as you can see right there. I darken up the tooth front, and then when I switch to the other side, I just uh, uh, loosen the vise, and then I make my adjustment here, turning it in. Uh, little bit and you can see I'm getting closer now turn it in a little bit more and as you can see it's a very close now so I just keep doing that until it just lightly cleans up the tooth and then I go around that whole side um, yeah, it's a little little more um, adjustment and getting started, but it actually does a really nice job of sharpening the chain. Um, every couple of sharpenings, I check it with a set of calipers because it's very, very important to keep the the uh, land on these the same um, so that it cuts nice and straight. But So even with an inexpensive sharpener, you can still, still come out with a very sharp chain. They cut good. And uh, the benefits are, are awesome. Um, you can do it anytime you need to. If you have an accident, hit, hit a stone or a nail or something. Um, you can bring it in the shop. Uh, if you hit something like that, you might have to go around the chain a, a couple times, both sides, to, to clean up any really badly damaged teeth. But the, the main point is you can um, sharpen your chain anytime you want what's convenient for you. There's no dropping it off somewhere um, and, and picking it up a day or two later or whatever they tell you. So um, yeah, don't shy away from a cheap one. 
if uh, you're like me and cut uh, 20 face cord of wood a year, this uh, works great. Hope this helps you.